Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Now before I start anything, I want to condition my gel plate with some baby oil. This is just some baby oil that I got from a 99 cent store. And it's a good habit to keep the plate conditioned and um, either you can use a piece of tissue paper or paper towel I, I prefer to use my hand and just rub it in to the plate and just cover the surface with the oil because as I found out after a lot of research that the gel plate is actually made of mineral oil. And that's why when you place a piece of paper or cardboard on top of the plate, you will get grease spots. And that's a good sign. Um, in fact, one of the uh, suggested storage procedures is to place a sheet of paper on top of the plate when you're not going to use it as opposed to the acetate to avoid bubbles. Uh, since I do so much printing, I hardly store the plates. They're always working so uh, it's not a issue for me, but um, if you want to store your plate for a while, you can place a piece of paper on top uh, and on the bottom and put it back in its packaging. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while and then wipe it clean with some paper towels. I've also come across a suggestion from uh, an artist to leave the coating of oil overnight. Uh, that is not a bad idea because it helps to uh, make the oil soak into the surface. But as you can see, by wiping it off with paper towel, all the leftover permanent marker ink is coming off. So that's another reason why it's good to oil the plate ever so often. And by doing this, it reduces the excessive stickiness and it prevents the paper from tearing. Okay. And like I mentioned before, it's also good for your hands. It's great for your skin. Okay, so now I have that out of the way. I will proceed to the next step. And my theme today is metallics. Uh, ever since I started using metallic paint, I've gotten quite uh, fond of them and I think it's a very exciting choice uh, to make uh, monoprints. So I have here a very simple design with three circles on the left 
and three half circles on the right. So it's kind of a formal composition because it's symmetrical. And it's just a, a rough guide. And I'll see how this goes. So I have here three kinds of metallic Sharpies. One is copper, one is gold, and one in silver. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try these out and see how they work. I'll start with the silver. Before, before starting, when you buy something brand new, it's always good to test it. Seems to write pretty well. That's my first metallic layer. Now I will do the copper. Kind of doing this slightly offset. Okay, that's it for the copper. And now I have the last metallic pen, which is the gold. Well, since these are brand new, they're very tight. Okay, so that is it for the first layer. And I will wait for these to dry for maybe like 10 minutes and then proceed to place a layer of acrylic paint. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think the uh, marker has dried by now. I'm going to place a light layer of parchment. This is Artist's Loft parchment. And intersperse it with some of this Lucas Arctic. And I will be working horizontally. It's 
So the Arctic is pretty subtle. There's not too much of it. Just to make some variation with the color without being too dark. Okay, and as usual, I will introduce my scribble marks. Right, so now I will apply a fresh sheet of Stonehenge paper. Stonehenge is a very beautiful, smooth finish, almost like a plate, like Bristol, but it's not as slippery. And I think it's a very beautiful surface to accept the acrylic paint. Okay, so since I'm trying to pick up the, the metallic marker, I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes. There's a slight buckling of the paper, which means the paper has absorbed the moisture of the paint. So let's see what we have here. I think the uh, marker transferred well. Not completely, but it's pretty clear. It, does, it doesn't skip. And I think the background paint has transferred completely. See, even even if I clean the plate with baby oil, there are still some ghost remnants of the previous print. They're very, very slight, but they're still there. So uh, it just shows you how important it is to keep the plate clean between printing. So this is the first layer. Very um, subtle scribbling on a light background, and I will decide what 
comes next. So don't go away. Okay, back from a short break, and I went through my box of uh, copy paper scraps, and I assembled these black and white pieces here. Um, here's a piece of warm-up exercise tissue paper. So I'm going to start with mounting this. The uh, tissue practically disappears. This is a little one here. And here is a piece of A QR code which I had printed out and cut up. And here is more of the scribble work on copy paper. And lastly, here's a large piece of warm-up exercise. There. So that's it for the black and white collage. And I think I will place another layer of metallic on top. Uh, but I'm going to wait till this layer dries first before I decide which colors to use. So back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm ready for the next step, which is to apply my reusable stencils. 
and I uh, didn't clean off the metallic markers so they serve as a guide where I can place the stencils so as you can see I have here copper in the middle this is pewter on the top and here is bronze for the bottom so I have three zones of metallic color so I will start with the copper Then I blend into pewter. Now the pewter is very light and very transparent, so I think it's going to show what's underneath because it's uh, a transparent color. So now this might be a little more opaque. This is bronze by Blick. Okay, I think I got that down. So, next step would be to collect the stencils before the paint dries. Now well, hopefully these uh, paints will remain wet and not dry on me. So I have to work fairly quickly. I have them all including the small pieces and I 
I think this has dried by now. This is the first layer with the black and white collage. I'm going to overlay with some metallics. Again, I'm going to leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes so I can get a good transfer. And hopefully the collage will behave and not come off. So back in a few minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what we got here. I like the uh, the shine of the metallic paint. Pretty cool. The uh, color combination is a little more restrained. It's not a bright color, but I think it works. And I like the fact that the, the second layer is semi-transparent, so it shows what's underneath. Let me show you a close-up. So here's an example of a metallic color scheme, but with softer tones, not as dark. And I think it does work well with the collage. So, I think this is a standalone. I don't think I need to add any more uh, because the underlayer of scribbles provides enough movement. So uh, I'm going to call it finished. And again, I wish to thank everyone who has subscribed and are faithful fans and uh, thank you for those who have uh, contributed to my PayPal to help keep this or this channel afloat and I hope to see you next time.